whether set in to fill the car with petrol, oil, and water. Tai hoots is the ag abto tat ebio tat e2. Us to e in your hands. What is going on? Uh, like performance and engine wear. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Kobe Scroby, and welcome to Jalopy. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Jalopy and other videos. Now, I've played through this game once already. I had a lot of fun with it, and basically the, the, the premise of the game is you're in this junker, crappy old jalopy car, <laughs> and you, you're kind of going on a road trip, basically, and you have to maintain the car, clean it, fill it with fuel. You can also upgrade parts of the car. You have to manage your tires. You can pick up things on the side of the road. I mean, there's there's... It's, it's fun, and it kind of satisfies this part of me because I am a mechanic. I'm an auto mechanic. I do mechanics and auto body and welding and all kinds of stuff like that. And it kind of satisfies this urge to upgrade and modify my vehicle that like I have. And I was looking for a type of game like that. And this and like Gran Turismo are kind of the two games that I've found that you can do that in. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with it and I wanted to play it and I thought we would do it together. So let's start a new game. Wake up. Wake up! Ah, awake finally. Hmm. Stay in bed any longer and the day will, will make fools of us both. <laughs> come on, I've got something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. So, that is our uncle. Ooh. This is our bed. Alarm clock. Seems to be, seemed like it was a little bit framey there for a second, but it's gone away. All right. So it's been a little bit since I played this, so um, bear with me here. Oh, what is this? Buy storage? Um, I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that's all about. So, all right, let's just do what we're supposed to do, and then I will... Stay alert. <laughs> All right. So here's our car. This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Zero to 60 kilometers per hour in 22 and a half seconds. A top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. All at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry. I have everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. There it is. Alright, so let's go grab our door. <laughs> uh, come on. I'm stuck. There we go. Whoa, did you see that car move? <laughs> That's a little... It's a... Oh, jeez. It's a little sketchy here. <laughs> and bam. Less than elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and it will release the bonnet. Bonnet is what some people call a hood. Can you see it? It's black latch. Should be just under the steering wheel. So my... the reticle is gone. There used to be a reticle in the middle of the screen so you could see 
exactly what you were targeting. My whole mouse pointer is gone. Weird. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to deal with that for now. Oh, jeez, that sucks. Huh, interesting. Anyway, so as you can see, she needs an engine. I've got a load of stock parts sitting in the garage. Go collect one and I'll walk you through what it does. All right, so we can crouch. It does not appear as though we can run or jump. What's up here? The parts are sitting in the garage. Yeah, I know. So I can't open those. All right, so stock engine. Let's grab that. Well, I think we can carry three things at the same time. Let's grab three things. That's the engine block you've got there, the core of the Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it into the engine bay. Um... Aha! Right, that's a carburetor, which controls the fuel consumption of the car. Which in, turn, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you'll get out of your Leica. A good well-maintained carburetor will mean you are less, you use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead, drop it in the engine bay. Alright, alright, I wanted the engine. Goes right there. So, carburetor. Goes right there okay you're holding the air filter a non-essential component the air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block go ahead drop it into the engine bay okay let's go grab some more parts We have a battery, an ignition coil, and I can't see where I'm selecting. Okay. Water tank. That's the battery, which provides electrical charge for your Leica. The battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition. That kind of thing. If your Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead and drop it into the engine bay. Hey! Really? <laughs> That's the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Okay, I gotta open the door. Open the bonnet. Ugh. Okay. I can't see what I'm selecting. There we go. Water. Okay. Battery. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't have my... My... My reticle. I can't see what I'm selecting. Okay. Battery. Bam. Okay. <laughs> that little thing is the ignition coil. The ignition coil channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in bad condition may struggle to start the engine. So that goes right there. Okay. Next, what's left in here? Fuel tank. That big lump of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel for your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you need to open the bonnet and fill directly to the tank when refueling. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine that means you'll want to mix in some oil 
to the fuel mixture. Failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and you'll wear at an increased rate. Too much oil though and you'll start to see performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Let it get too beat up and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. Go ahead, drop it into the engine bay. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now, to fill her up, we're getting nowhere without fuel. There should be a fuel... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What? Weather set in to fill the car with petrol, oil, and water. Go ahead and collect them and I'll walk you through fueling your car. I don't remember that happening before. That was weird. Alright, so we need fuel, water, and oil. Okay. Can I open this? Okay. What's this say? Juggling as easy as one, two, mouse. Okay. Oh, good. That's a can of fuel you're holding there. If you use that on the fuel cap of the fuel tank we just installed, then you'll begin filling the car with fuel. Okay. Come on! Are you serious? Tai hu tzvi ag abto tat ebio tat e2. Us to f uh, e in your hands. What is going on? Uh, like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster car, but will increase wear of the engine. A rich mixture will result in the opposite. Try using it on the fuel tank. Can I open the the hood please there okay. <laughs> what happened put put it down I can't drop anything oh there we go okay fuel can Is it full? There we go. Okay, go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. All right, I'm gonna put it in the trunk because I'm taking it with me. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Now <laughs> we need to put some oil in. Uh, I can't. There. So now we have no oil at the moment, right? Yeah, no oil mixture. Lean. I'm not done with it, okay? Will you just leave me alone? Oh my god. Let's move on to the tires with a Y. Okay, nope. I'm not done. Can I? Come on. So as you can see, <laughs> we won't get far without any wheels. There's a car jack over in the garage. Bring it over and we will get started. Okay, I'm not done here, okay? Will you... Just leave me alone. Optimal oil mixture. Okay. That's what I want. The tutorial is a little bit pushy. Water bottle. You need to bring the jack over. Stop it. There we go. Go ahead and drop that. Leave me alone, guy. Stop. Okay, it's full. All right. Let's put this in the trunk. <clears throat> mm. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, I remember this being this tutorial being a little bit annoying, but maybe it's cuz I didn't know how to play the first time I did it, so and now I do know how to play. So 
it's kind of getting in my way of me knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to grab all the tires and the jack. Well, okay. Stop it. Okay. Jack. Now just twist the handle. You'll notice the car, something, something. We'll pick up the tire. This is extremely hard without some sort of target for me to aim. You need to bring over a road tire. I did. Good. Now just fit the road tire to the axle. I'm, I'm trying, man. Okay. There. And tighten the bolt with the tire iron. Okay. Let's do both at the same time. Give me the tire iron. This is also very hard to hit this. There it is. That is hard to do when you do have a reticle. And now the same with the other wheel. Bam. Okay. So we did this side. Drop it down. Drop it. Take the jack. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to reset, restart the game or, and see if it comes back. Or maybe they got rid of it. I don't know. I can't imagine why. Okay. I don't need that. I need this. I need this. Now I need this. Okay, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, now let's see how she runs. Well, can I put it on the ground first? I'll be in the car. You may want to load the trunk with any spares left in the garage. You can never be sure what you'll need along the road. Do you have any shoes on? I don't think he has shoes on. All right, let's drop it down <laughs> with him in there. Let's take this jack because we will need it. Stick it in there. All right, is there anything else in here that I can steal? I don't see anything whatsoever. Okay, is there anything over here? I don't think I checked over here before when I played this before. Um, it would appear as though there's nothing. Okay. Um, I guess we're off. Can I? So I wonder if this is a place where I can order parts. Um, I don't know. I don't want to buy a storage for $100. Oops, I don't want to do that either. Okay. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some important companions. Here we have the maintenance manual. It will cover the basics of running the car. In there, you'll find information regarding a basic overview of the Leica vehicle. Details of your current engine setup, listings of the cargo we're currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corner of each page. Aha! I have a mouse pointer now. We'll have a look through this later. For now, go ahead and drop that. Next, you'll need the map. Where's my body? This one is important as it will allow you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. As you can see, our first destination is the CSFR border crossing near Dresden. I've marked all the potential routes I know of, including weather conditions and any stop off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. All right, so route one, 350 kilometers here to here. There is a gas station, sunny, and 
it looks like a good road? Or is that showing the car a little bit crooked? I can't tell. 280 kilometers, gas station, sunny. 420 kilometers, gas station, rainy. I don't know. Does this mean... What does this mean? I can't see it well enough. 350, 280. Well, we don't have extra fuel, right? So let's just do this one for now because... I guess there's a gas station on every one. I don't know. Let's go for a nice... Oh, it's going to rain. I don't know, man. I feel like let's go for a nice long ride for our first ride. All right, let's do it. Oh, man. Once a route has been selected, you're committed to driving it. And again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corner. The other pages include your statistic... <laughs> tracking and unlocks tracking. You can have a look through this later. Go ahead and close it for now. Fine. And finally, the keys. I'll take those. If you just pop them in the ignition, then she's all yours. Of course, I chose the rainy day. Um... Okay. <laughs> that two-stroke sound effect is awesome. Well, here we go. So you can use the parking brake or you can use the steering wheel and it will put it down. You might feel better if you put the wipers on. He is going to keep saying that unless I do it. And so the journey begins. Can I... Head towards Dresden. We'll be traveling the Autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get the grips on the Leica. Okay. Bam. Aha! Here we go. And we're off! I didn't read that sign. I saw it said Dresden. So, we have mirrors. I have the mirrors turned on. <laughs> So as you can see down here, we're going 55 kilometers per hour. We have full fuel. 60. We've gone. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, she gets a little bit squirrely in the in the rain if you don't have rain tires. Yep, it's a little bit. I'm kind of chasing it. <laughs> But we're going 65. Oh, jeez. Kilometers. Okay, don't hit the wall. Ooh. Ah. So it will cause damage to your car. Your car parts and your tires. If you hit potholes. Um, this. Oh, no. Those are. Oh, jeez. Don't hit it. Okay. There's going to be stuff on the road like rocks, potholes, puddles, mud. All right. Let's slow down a little bit for this so we don't spin out or something. There's also stamps, I think, you can collect or something, or postcards, I can't remember. Um, so you could get out and check places like that tank back there. Uh, but I don't feel like wasting time doing that right now and then not finding anything. Though what we do need to look out for are packages on the side of the road. Boxes and packages. I haven't seen any yet. You know, it's a curious feeling. You know, what's really hard is to read those and watch where I'm driving at the same time. Being on the road again after such a long time. All those years in the GDR. Whoa, thunder. Alright, we're going. 65, 68 about. We're not doing... Oh, geez, there's a puddle. So if you hit those two, it'll splatter on your windshield. And then that's what the water is for. It's like a washer fluid. <laughs> Man, I love this game. It's just, it's nice to just kind of cruise like this and maintain the vehicle and upgrade it. Is this something? I think it is. I couldn't tell. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Um, park brake. Bam. 
So, oh, one of my wipers broke. <laughs> also, I think my reflection in my mirror is broke. All right, let's get out. I read that you can leave the car running. It only uses fuel for mileage. So I'm going to leave it running. Here's a package. Here, let's open it. You have to select the tape. And we got coffee beans. We got one package of coffee beans. So we'll stick that in there. And we're off. So when I was playing this before, I was shutting the car off every time I stopped. So I don't think you have to. I know I wasn't born here, but I found a belonging I've not experienced at, at any other time in my life. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to look at the road and look at the and read. Uh, being one of the people, like a family, all working together for each other. Uh, see, I hit that mud and it's on my windshield now. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. Alright. So look, there's an exit here. Wait, 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 wait. I want to read that. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, here comes a car behind me. Oh, more cars. Alright, so Dresden straight ahead. Leap, zig, and tank steel are that way. I'm wondering where the gas station is. We are above half but below three quarters of a tank. Let's go up here. The gas station might be up here. So the developers of this game have a new game coming out soon. I think it comes out in May sometime. And it's called Road to Gong Dong. I think it's pronounced Gong Dong. And it's kind of similar. I, I contacted them to see if I could get a demo or a review copy. Uh, and they told me that... Oh, look at that. That's blocked. We can't even go that way. Anyway, they told me that uh, they only give stuff like that to channels with a thousand subscribers or more. And uh, we're currently sitting at about 856. So they didn't do it. Uh, but the other day I did see one of the channels that I'm subscribed to. They did get a review copy of it and they made a video. So I watched it and it's, it's a little strange. Um, it's not, oh no, is this block too? It's not um, exactly like this. I don't know. It's it's different. Um, I'm kind of thinking this is going to send me back the way I just came. Or is this the gas station over here? Anyway, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it yet. I I will probably play it. This is the gas station. Good job. I did a good job. I found it. Um. I will probably play it, but I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. But anyway, it got me kind of in the mood to play this. Is why, why I wanted to do this today. And I was thinking about it um, last night while I was trying to go to sleep, and I couldn't go to sleep because I was thinking about doing this, and uh, I just wanted to play it. So anyway, let's do this. Let's fill this thing up. Open the hood. Shut the door. I said. Shut, shut the door. So very important in this game, you always want to make sure you have enough fuel to get where you're going. Be because if you don't, you're just kind of stuck. Like there's nothing you can do. Uh, you can't get through the checkpoint to the next town. Well, I guess it happened to me on the way back. I couldn't get through the checkpoint to get to a gas station. And I couldn't run all the way back. I don't know. Anyway, I, I got stuck to where I had to start a new game. So, 
you always want to make sure you have enough fuel. So first we are going to fill it up. All right, that is full. As you can see, the gate here closed, so we cannot get out until we pay for the stuff that we take, like gasoline. So it will not allow you to cheat that way. Can I put this in here? Okay, perfect. So we have emergency fuel now. Put that in there. We'll grab our oil. Um, it doesn't tell me the mixture that's in the fuel can. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, let's do this. Optimal mixture. Is this thing empty? I believe it is. And I think we can sell this too. We can sell it for like a dollar or something. But we also have our coffee beans in here. Um, which I'm trying to select. Um, oh, I had it. Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll sell these guys too. So let's head inside. Hey, guy. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through the window. Oh. <laughs> what? I didn't... What? We have everything you need. You can pay by using your wallet. You can also cancel the transaction here. You, oh yeah, you can pull that level to cancel the transaction. Um, so let's do that. Give me those back. Okay. Give me... This. And this. Okay, minus one dollar. Okay, so they owe me. She owes me one dollar. Is it a she? It is a she. Two seventy. So we're gonna get two dollars and seventy cents for that stuff. Um, how much do we have? We have a hundred dollars, I believe. Uh, we need some more oil. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of water. Honestly, I don't use that very often. Okay, so. This type of stuff, you you could buy it here, right? It costs two dollars and eighty cents. I'm just gonna say dollars and cents, okay? Because that's what we use here in America. Um, and then you can take it to like across the border and sell it for possibly more. Um, but I don't know if you can tell what you should be buying. Ooh, repair kit. I, yeah, I don't know if there's a way to tell what you should be buying and smuggling and and not smuggling. So, um, I don't do that. I just sell the stuff that I find on the side of the road. So, let's check the condition of some of our stuff here. So, durability 2 of 3, 3 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 of 3... Two of three. Okay. How about our tires? Three. Three. Okay. Tires are all good. They should all be the same. Yeah. All right. Unless you hit a pothole on one of them or something. So I got to buy that oil and then I think we're done here. We don't have anything more to sell. Um... I, you know what? I would love to buy that repair kit. I think I'm going to because not all gas stations have everything. Uh, wallet. So let's say the next gas station we get to might not have any repair kits. And then we're just stuck with a broken car. So I'm going to take this. It costs 15. Um. See, this is something that kind of sucks here. So, our wallet is in our hand. And you can't switch hands? Like, I can't put that toolkit there with my wallet in my hand. So, we have to put the wallet back. 
put that in there. Now I need to go back and get my wallet because when you drop it, it puts it back in the glove box. So we're going to grab the wallet again. So like grabbing the wallet is kind of the last thing you do. I'm stuck. Okay. <laughs> so we'll come in here and we'll pay for the toolkit. Should be 15. Yep. All right. So we'll put the wallet back. We'll grab the stuff. And I don't think you can steal things back. <laughs> uh, you can't get through the window. Yeah. All right. Let's take this stuff in the trunk and we'll be on our way. <laughs> okay, close the trunk. Let's get out of here. So now the gate's open again. I've never taken the time to come back here and run behind these buildings and look for things. I don't know if that's a thing. Can't get in there. Is this like a secret way out of here? I can't run as fast as we can go. Uh, nope, just a uh, missing fence. Yep, I don't see anything back here. I was just curious. I'd never done that before, and if there was something back there, I might have been leaving behind a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's get to Dresden. Oh, also, I forgot to show you. Okay. You can take your sponge, stick it in there, and you can wash the car. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> it is a little bit difficult to do. It is even harder to do when you don't have something on your screen showing you where you're selecting. So, I'm going to skip that for now. Let's get in here. And shut the door. Next time, I'm not going to choose um, the rain path. There we go. All right, here we go. I ran over the curb. They're, oh, don't crash. They're just the right, they're, what? They're just to the right of the steering wheel. Oh, see, that's what he, he's gonna bother me about the wipers, if I don't turn them on. I don't need them, man. I can see just fine. There's also lights. I don't need those either. Alright. It's getting dark. So, in this game, the day will progress. Please turn the wipers on. See, leave me alone, man. See, that is why I did not bring this guy with me when, I, when it gave me a choice. He is so annoying. <laughs> uh, so... The day will progress throughout the day and get dark and then it will stay night until you get to your destination. Oh yeah, look at the smoke coming out of my hood. That's just a sign that my engine is becoming damaged. Um, it will stay dark until you get to your destination and go to your hotel and sleep. Okay, we want to go this way. If I went left there, it would take us back to where we started. All right, we should be almost there, I think. Wait, why do I not have full fuel? <gasps> oh no! I canceled the sale on that stuff. Oh no, I canceled my fuel. Oh, it's empty. Ah, oh, crap, man. All right. I'm going to go back and refuel this thing. Ah, oh, jeez. That sucks. And then uh, I'll meet you back over here when I'm done. I screwed that up. That was my fault. I canceled the sale when I gave her those things. And then that also canceled my fuel. So that's actually kind of a big deal. Because not only did I waste the fuel that it took me to drive out there and back... Um, I wasted the oil that I put in this fuel tank. 
Um, I also wasted durability on my stuff. See, now this is two of three. Two of three. So now we're two of three in the red. So uh, I also probably I wasted durability on my tires. No, we're still three of three, but yeah, so that was huge. Uh, a huge mistake on my part. Pay attention to what you're doing. Because I bought that oil, now I need to put the oil in the car instead of having a full extra bottle of oil. Yep, man, that was a big screw up. Especially early in the game here when there's not a lot of um, choices. Uh, give me the oil. Alright, um, I'm just about done here. I just gotta put the oil in and I gotta pay. And then I'll be on my way after I pay.